train with a guy like Brock Lesnar and you know, what have you learned at uh, this training camp working with him? Well, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. The guy's a heavyweight champ for a reason uh, of the UFC. Training with him is, you know what, I've never, I always hear everybody says I'm too small for heavyweight, and I'm like, I'm 255, and there's no way. I've never felt like a little guy until I got out of here. How prepared, I mean, do you think Brock is going to this cane fight? How good does it look? This is absolutely the scariest. I've already been convinced that Brock Lesnar is the scariest dude on earth, uh, but this is beyond scary, like what he's able to do. He's faster than he's ever been. He's stronger than he's ever been. He's leaner than he's ever been. His cardiovascular condition is out the window. Like he's all around. His, his striking game has is, is, is improved tremendously. His reflexes are like the fastest. They, they, they should be, it's un, it's inconceivable like what, this, what, what a man of that size can do. Uh, what do you get out of coming to a camp like this as you know, a sparring partner? You know, how does it benefit your career? I mean, everybody, everybody knows on earth. I mean, I'll punch and kick anyone to death, but when it comes to wrestling and jiu-jitsu, that, that's my weak point. That's what I'm still getting better at every day. So I'm out here with the, it's like the best gym in the world for heavyweights. It's a bunch of giant monsters out here who happen to be super stud wrestlers. There's a seven-time world champion jiu-jitsu coach out here. Uh, Caprito, um, like this is this is everything that I need to learn myself to get better. Just to be out here with them. What do you think if you uh, now that you've trained with Brock, if you end up having to fight him since you're in the same division, what what are his weaknesses you might be able to take advantage of? Brock, Unless, yeah, I think I can run faster than he can. Brock, and just what's the whole experience been like for you in this training? Game? Uh, it's it's been great. You know, I've been here for about a year. You know, there's there's no other camp that's like this as far as heavyweights go. They're all big, they're all athletic, you know, you get a lot of pressure and you'll never feel that anywhere else in the other gym. So it gives me supreme confidence going into a fight after training with these guys and, and just knowing that I, I felt the most pressure that I'm going to feel and the fight's going to be easy. What separates Brock from you know, other top heavyweights? What does he have that others got? Uh, his, his power, athleticism, agility. In his uh, just his mental mental state of mind, you know, he's, he knows he's a mean dude, and he uh, he wants to punch you in the face, so it gives him an edge. All those things. What do you think? I mean, a lot of people talk about Kane and his, his hands and his stamina. What does Kane have to worry about when facing a guy like Brock? Kane's got to worry about Brock even touching him in the face. I mean, Brock even just reaches out and touches him once; it's gonna rock him or knock him out. So he's got to stay on his toes and moving and. And we'll see if he's in good a shape as I said.